Pico offers a place for you to get reference waveforms or for you to share your waveforms online. However, in order to use this, you have to have an account and you actually have to have a PicoScope plugged into your computer. Once that's activated, you can go to Waveform Library Browser, which is up under the File menu. If you don't have the Pico hooked up, you will get that error message. So I need to come up and connect my device. Once my device is connected, I can now use the Reference Waveform Library, and I will need to log in. Once you're logged in, you can refine your search. And I see there's nine Acuras, and I want an automatic transmission, so there's seven of those. And maybe the test condition is a cranking test condition. So now I can see I have three patterns to choose from. And if you click on the pattern, it'll show you what it looks like. Or you can load that pattern to use as a reference. If I minimize this screen, the reason why we can't see this pattern like it showed up on the screen previously is because of the time base. It's only at 5 milliseconds per division. We need to zoom out. Before I can do that, I've got to click the play button. Then I can come over here and I can change my time base. Once I change my time base, we now can see the reference pattern down here in the lower blue section. Because this is a downloaded reference waveform, I'm unable to edit this and change the color or change the name. However, if I would like to save this for future reference on my hard drive, I can simply select this and click Duplicate. Then I will now put it in my library. Now I can edit that and I can put in what that is, such as cranking, compression, Acura, and I can give it a more distinctive color, such as magenta. And if I say OK, it now changes it to that other color, and it will now permanently be in my library.